This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with Apostle Tebow and Prophet Tebow. This broadcast airs every Friday on My Gospel Soul at 12 p.m. Central Time. Bustin' Loose in Faith is a seed of faith evangelistic outreach ministry. We come to bring you word, praise, and inspiration. We want you to remember that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with God, all things are possible. Make sure you share this show at 347-826-9424. Bustin' Loose and Faith Ministries would love to hear from you. Now, let's get into our broadcast with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Right here on My Gospel Soul. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good and worthy. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, he's a good God. Ten-headed, two-headed sword, hallelujah, piercing even to the side, dividing a slender of soul and marrow, and of the joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this really makes me miss. Amen. I want to talk about remaining remaining spiritually grounded in 2022. Remaining spiritually grounded in 2020. Two, brothers and sisters in Christ, we serve an awesome God. We serve a God that is able, ready, and willing to meet our each and every need. We serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great I am, the one that has all power in his hand. Brothers and sisters in Christ, The word says in Philippians 4, verse 6, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Believers of Christ, in order to remain faithful in the face of pressure, you need to be grounded in your identity as a follower of Christ with knowledge, obedience, and love. People of God, the word of God, again it says in Hebrew, chapter 4, verses 12 through 13, for the word of God says, for the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul, of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Again, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are talking about remaining 
spiritually grounded in 2022. People of God staying grounded and rooted can be very challenging in the times that we're living in. You see, your faithfulness is always grounded in the gospel, in the word of God. So we as born again believers of Christ, according to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the works of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. People of God, the defensive side of encouragement, it refers to the term steadfast and immovable. Spiritually speaking, the Apostle Paul here is speaking to the Corinthians as well as us in 2022. He is saying to be to be steadfast means to be to be steady in what to be steady in and with a refusal to be drawn away. I'm gonna say that again. Steadfast, spiritually speaking, means to be settled in with a refusal to be drawn away. So, beloved, as believers of Christ, we must be determined to know that the world is behind us and it cannot drag us from away from the heart and hope of the gospel. Tell God the offensive side of encouragement refers to always abounding in the works of the law. So believe a Christ, you strive to do what is right in the midst of life circumstances and disappointment. Remaining Spiritually grounded in 2022, as believers of Christ, where is your faith during times of adversity? And how do we stand firm in our faith when trials and sufferings come? That is the question here tonight. So, beloved, suffering is a part of life. People of God, everyone goes through it. Some sort of suffering and adversity in life. In their lives at one time or another, they will suffer. Because no one is immune from it. You see, the word of God let us know in the book of Job chapter 5, verse 7. Man is born to trouble as the sparks flies upward. It does not matter if you are a Christian or a non-Christian. All people will suffer in this life. There will be sorrows, pressures, needs, Needs, loneliness, hunger, trial, loss, disappointment, physical pain, and being not pop and being unpopular. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, our mind must be made up, our heart must be fixed. That the world is behind us. And the cross is before us. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God's promises are in the scriptures to fortify, to strengthen the believer through times of trials, suffering, and adversity. 
my brothers and sisters in Christ, our God is merciful. And the Holy Spirit has been given to the believer to be comfort, to comfort us and to help us pray as we turn to him in humility, as he strengthens us in our own circumstances. Child of God, our stand in Christ is a firm foundation when times of trouble come. Bible says in the book of Romans 8, verse 28 through 29, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are to call according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You see, by faith, beloved, we trust God in knowing that there is a higher good that God is working. Well, we need to stay faithful during adversity because God is able to see us through. He's willing, ready, and able to bless us. He's willing and ready to strengthen us in times of weaknesses. Bible says in Isaiah 40 and 31, but those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew our strength. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we stay focused, steadfast, unmovable in the things of God, God will strengthen us in areas where we may be weak. He will sustain us when we get to the place where we are physically drained. Bible says when we are weak, let us profess that we are strong in the law and the power of his word. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6 said, Trust in the Lord with all of our heart. And lean not to our own understanding. In all of our ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. Oh, yes, he will. He'll direct our path. He will help us to go on. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. So by faith, beloved, we trust God. In knowing that there is a higher good purpose that he is working. Well, we need to stay faithful during times of adversity. Because God is able to see us through. Yes, child of God, sometimes God may permit suffering to speak. He may permit suffering in order to speak through our lives as a testimony in order to comfort others. Yes, God might be using your own suffering to inspire and to strengthen others, those of us that are enduring adversity, which can identify and sympathize with others in ways we have ourselves been comforted in Christ. Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy 
and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them that are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comfort of God. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, remaining faithful, grounded in 2022 should be a priority, should be a, a desire for every believer of Christ to obtain in these times that we are living in. Sure, every foundation and desire is being shaken from the White House all the way to your house and mine. And truth be told, even in the church house, but we as God's people have a hope that lies within us is that our God will come through in his time. He will sustain us. He will keep us. Because the word said in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Yes, we need God's strength in whatever circumstance or situation that we find ourselves in. You see, Jesus, before he ascended on that, he gave his disciples, the apostles, instruction. Jesus, knowing that his disciples would face trouble, he comforted them by telling them, according to the book of John, chapter 14, verse 1, do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God? Believe also in me. So believe of Christ, because of God's grace, because of God's mercy, we can look beyond our suffering and our adversity in 2022. And we can see what God God higher purpose and what he wants to teach us. Yes, beloved, those that God bruised the most are those that God can use the most. So we can be encouraged tonight on a Tuesday night in April 26, 2022. We can be encouraged here tonight and pray that God will reveal the reason for the suffering we can we are going through. You see, we can turn to his word and seek his instruction by our lives in whatever situation, circumstances that are going on in our lives. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we must trust God and his word, which will give us comfort, encouragement, understanding, by understanding the truth and strengthen us in areas where we may be weak. As a, as a believer of Christ, there, we must remember that there is no testimony without a test. Again, here in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12, it says, Blessed is the man who remained at steadfast under trials, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. The Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, that all things work together for good to those who love God, 
to them who are the call according to his purpose. People of God, all of us have learned in this life. It is not all it is not always smooth sailing. And that we are always going to endure time of difficult time of discomfort. Beloved, God will test us. And that is for sure. It is. It will happen. Because the word says so. Believers of Christ, we need to go through the fire in order to purge our heart in order for our faith to be tested, in order to prove to ourselves the true depth of our heart for God. The Bible says that we must examine ourselves to make sure that we're in the faith on a daily basis. Yes, people of God, remain in steadfast in adversity is evident of our faith and trust in the Lord. The Bible says in Hebrew 11 and 1 that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yes, faith is essential for a child of God. People of God remain in steadfast in adversity. Again, it is evident of our faith and trust in the Lord. You see, sometimes people, sometimes people miss their promises, miss their promised land experience because of a lack of faith or that they have allowed doubt and unbelief. To fill their hearts. Bible reminds us what Hebrew 11, verse 6 says. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So we must seek the Lord while he may be found. As we draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to us. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the Bible let us know in Hebrew 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yes, beloved, it is the challenge that proves your faith and the test that determines your testimony. I'm going to say that again for those that are listening in tonight when we talk about faith. Beloved, it is the challenge that proves your faith and it is the test that determines your testimony. So, believe of Christ, we must go through many hardships in order to enter the kingdom of God. See, the Bible says the kingdom of God suffers suffer violence, but the violent take it by force. So, you see, we cannot just live life in cruise control. We must go through adversities in order to enter God's kingdom. And God allow us to go through these times in order for us to rely on, on God rather than our own strength. Here in the book of Isaiah 43 verse 2 and let us know 
when thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. But when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame scorch upon thee. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, these are promises that God has given us. We must go through the process in order to obtain the promise. So, child of God, lead into the faith that you already have. Pray for strength and guidance according to the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 41 it says watch and pray that you enter not into temptation because the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak remaining spiritually grounded in 20 22 should be our heart desire, should be what we are aiming for in these times that we are living in. Remember what the word says in Philippians 4 and 6, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Believe of Christ to remain faithful in the face of pressure. You need to be grounded in your identity as a follower of Christ with knowledge, obedience, and love. People of God, the word of God says here in Hebrew 4, verse 12 through 13, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things, all things are naked and lie bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account remaining spiritually grounded in 2022. People of God staying grounded and rooted can be very challenging. Our faithfulness is always grounded in the gospel. Again, the word of God let us know in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. People of God, that, again, we are thankful and grateful for what God is doing in this hour. We know according to Romans 8, verse 28 and 29, and we know that all things work together for good for them to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many, many brethren. By faith, beloved, we trust God 
in knowing that there is a higher good, a higher purpose that God is working. Well, we need to stay during adversity, times of trouble, because God is able to see us through. Child of God, sometimes God may permit suffering. Yes, the Bible says that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Persecution is part of the suffering package in them. But what we have been drafted into the beloved family of God, it is part of the Christian package of Christianity. Yes, God might be using your own suffering to inspire and to strengthen those around us those that is watching our life as an open book. Yes, beloved, those of us that are enduring adversity, which can identify and sympathize with others in ways we have ourselves, in ways like we have ourselves been comforting in Christ. Yes, we look on to Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith. He is the Lord. I hear you talking about what Jesus did for you. Praise your gospel, but is it the truth? Judging people high and low out of self-righteousness. Jesus said, don't judge no one when your stuff is a mess. Live for real. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live it for real. Live for real. Live it for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Live it for real. Yours is in the clear My God, he sits high And he looks low You'll see more blessings When you hang up the phone Live it for real Live it for real If there's a change in your life You need to live for real Live it for real Live it for real Live it for real If there's a change in your life You need to live
We thank God, may hallelujah, through the use of the Internet, that we are able and willing to preach and teach on a local level and able to reach on a global level in 2022. Whatever you are believing God for, whatever whatever prayer need that you have at this hour, we just come in agreement with you concerning that need. God knows the heart. He knows the time that he will answer the prayer and honor the request. But most of all, we pray that the Lord would have his way and that souls would be saved, that the kingdom of God may grow. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are living in times of uncertainty, in times of unknown. But one thing that we do know, the God of the universe holds tomorrow. We know that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we purpose within our hearts, our minds, to rejoice in it, but to give thanks to God in everything. Yes, God is a merciful God, because he knows us all by name, the very hairs on our head. He knows us because he sits high and looks low. He knows us all by name. We are grateful because of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is faithful even in times when we are not faithful. Here again tonight we are talking about remaining spiritually grounded in 2022. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the book of James let us know in James 1 verse 12, it says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trials. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. We're also comforted by the word of God that says in the book of Romans 8, verse 28, that all things work together for good to them who who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes, child of God, all of us have learned in this life in 2022 that it is not always smooth sailing on a spiritual basis. And that we are always going to endure times of difficulty and times of discomfort. So, beloved, God will test us. And that is a fact. And it is a sure thing. Believers of Christ, we need to go through the fire in order for our faith to be tested, in order to be proven, in order to prove to ourselves the true depth of our heart for the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Yes, beloved, child of God, remaining steadfast in adversity is very evident of our faith and trust in the Lord. You see, sometimes people miss their promise. They miss going into their promised land experience. They miss the mountaintop victory because of the valley that they are still in. Because There are things that may hinder our walk with Christ. And what is, one thing is, is unbelief. Unbelief calls 
doubt. And it causes doubt to sneak in. Unbelief. Stop us in our tracks on trusting the God and his, and his word. You see, unbelief, it is the enemy of our faith. So we must get to the place in life where we rebuke unbelief, where we rebuke fear from our lives. See, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind. Yes, fear is of the devil. Fear and faith cannot exist in the same sentence because faith can override fear. But it's up to us as individuals, as children of the Most High God, to speak faith, faith filled words into existence, to move doubt, unbelief, fear out of the way, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. Because we know our labor, we know that our labor is not in vain. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we must go through many hardships in order to enter into the kingdom of God. So you see, we can't just live a life in 2022 live our lives in cruise control as believers of Christ. We must go through adversity, troubles, in order to enter into God's kingdom and to allow God to work in us and through us in these times. Uh, yes, in order for us to rely on God in order instead of relying on our strength. Remember again what the word said in Isaiah 40 and 31, but those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew our strength. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. The word of God also encourages us in, in Isaiah 43, verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt. Neither shall thy flame, neither shall the flame scorch you. So, child of God, learn to lean into your faith that you already have. Pray for strength and guidance. Ask the Lord to help you to overcome your weaknesses here in the Word of God in Matthew 26 verses 41. It says, for us to always watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation because the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So, beloved, remaining spiritually grounded in 2022, it is a determination of every believer of Christ. Beloved, remaining planted in God and in good song. Stay in the word of God, especially when tough times hits. Because we are living for something bigger than ourselves. 
Bible says, give us an illustration of putting seed in good soil. In Luke 8, verse 15, it says, but the seed planted in good soil, it stands for those with a noble and good heart who hears the word of God and retains it and by persevering it will produce a crop a crop yes believer of Christ God begins the supernatural work of transforming us as his children into the image of his son Jesus Christ who was and he is perfect. So, beloved, as a child of God, as you mature in your faith, God uses tests and trials to develop our character and also the ministry that He has called us into. Child of God, by responding to trials, in the grace of God, you will experience the power of God's spirit, which will which will be manifested in your life through the fruit of the spirit, which are love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, faith, goodness, meekness. And self-control. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which are to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy, remaining spiritually grounded in 2022. People of God, according to the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 3 through 5, it says, We glory in tribulation. Always knowing that tribulation and patience experience and experience hope and hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Believer of Christ, Unless you accept God's grace to deal with suffering, eventually you will become bitter. However, if you choose to trust in God to bring about his purpose through the suffering in your life, you will Find that you will grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we can be confident in knowing that God will not allow anything to happen to us without his permission. See, the word of God says in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. Beloved, we should be thanking God for the benefit he intended for us when he allowed things to happen. So rejoice in the Lord always. Thanking God is an act of the will. But rejoicing 
is a response of the Spirit. I'm going to say that again for those that are listening here. So rejoicing, so rejoice in the Lord. Always, brothers and sisters in Christ, thanking God is an act of the will. But rejoicing is a response of the Holy Spirit. Child of God, you can not escape the pain of a difficult situation. But you can learn to rejoice in God, in God himself, and in the things, the good things that God will do through our own suffering. Yes, believers of Christ, tests and trials gives us opportunities to come to know God and to know him better and to bring glory to him. Here in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 14 through 18, it says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye not, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry out, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, remaining spiritually grounded in 2022. My brothers and sisters in Christ, developing a stronger character is more important and getting our own way. You know, the Burger King way. Because eternal treasures are more valuable than earthly riches. Believer of Christ, we can follow Jesus as our set example and successfully engage spiritual warfare by proclaiming truth in the face of truth and temptation. Yes, believer of Christ, probably the greatest reason why God takes us through the trials of life is to bring us to the firm conclusion that we need him. You see, God's desire is to work powerfully to our lives. So therefore, we, may, we must live, learn to depend on him. God alone must become our source of strength, provision, protection, and direction. As I come to a close tonight and say amen and amen, we are thankful for all that God has done in us and through us in these times when we are in these times that we are living in. My brothers and sisters in Christ, if you would like to get in touch with us, 
You can reach us at P.O. Box 928-Lafayette, Louisiana, 705 Again, you can reach us at Bustin' Loose and Faith Ministries at P.O. Box 928-64-Lafayette, Louisiana, 705-09. Well, have a wonderful, safe, blessed, Evening. God's will and Jesus carry. We'll meet again when God on Friday. God's willing. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, keep us in prayer as we pray for you and your family. We ask that you pray for us and our families. That God will continue to use us through the use of the internet in 2022 to reach souls for the kingdom. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. Good night.